What's up, guys? Before we get into today's episode, we wanted to mention that we have our 1,000 follower giveaway going on right now. And anybody has a chance to enter, we're giving away uh, one of the dual decks, two packs of Eclipse sleeves, and three, count them, three Ixalan booster packs. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to us on YouTube and comment on any video that you would like with hashtag 1,000 giveaway. If you want an extra entry, you can go to Instagram, share our original post, and tag us in it. That's it resolves, not me and Kevin personally. Yes. Without further ado, guys, let's get into today's episode. Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again, listening and watching, doing it, wherever you're doing it, how you're doing it. Uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. Today's episode, guys, is pretty jam-packed. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a ranty one, just warning you a little bit now, but kind of to get into the schedule for today, uh, we do have our random card of the day, as always, going to start us off. We do have our Iconic Masters stream slash Winston draft. More details on that when right. we talk about it, because obviously you guys have not seen that. We'll we'll talk about it in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we also want to take a quick peek into Standard. Uh, obviously, we haven't really talked about Standard that much recently, so we thought we'd jump back into it. Uh, we were... And oh boy. I don't know if we would say happy about what and we found, oh but boy. anyway, uh, then we of course have our question of the week and then our crack a pack sponsored by Grand Slam. Of course. All right. So uh, with that out of the way, we're going to get into our random card of the day, my favorite segment. Oh, yes. Ow. Yes. Oh, God. We have our first uncard, I think. Yeah. It so is. this is Ow, an enchantment for one black. It says, whenever any <laughs> creature damages a player, for each Al card in play, that player says Al once, or Al deals one damage to him. I love it. It's an uncard. It's a funny one, what? and it's an awesome one. Yes, it is. Uh, it is a rare from Unglued, by the way. Yeah. That's hilarious. I, there's nothing to talk about, really, because no. the unsets only exist in and of themselves, and there's so much fun to draft. You should draft it. And uh, Speaking of which. <laughs> yeah, there's one coming out soon. Next week, in soon fact. Soon and very soon. Um. So the thing, so I have found with these uncards, uh, I found a video one time, somebody played commander with the inclusion of uncards. So you didn't okay. have to use them, but you could. Okay. And I don't remember how the game played out because it was quite a while ago that I saw that video, but it okay. was actually really entertaining. I'm so sure it was. I would suggest if you have any of these old cards, try building some commander decks with your friends with them, because I bet it would be really fun. Yeah, I'm sure it would be. I want be, to do that uh, for It Resolves at some point, because that be, would be awesome. Be sweet. Yeah, understand that you can't play with these silver border <laughs> cards anywhere else. Other not than tournament them. legal, no. not, no, you cannot. No. But, I mean, it's awesome There's, They are so much fun. They yeah, really, yeah. they give you a great experience. Um, there's really not much else to say. No, it's there's just not. a great time. It's just cool. Yeah. All right. Sweet. All right. So let's jump straight into Iconic Masters. First of all, we have a bit of an apology to make because yeah, we did so technically sorry. stream a Iconic Masters team sealed yeah. featuring Andrew and Parks, uh, two of our very good friends of the channel and yeah. of the stream. You guys have mm -hmm. probably seen them before. Unfortunately, yeah. there were some technical issues with the actual stream, and we didn't realize it at the time, but after the fact, we realized the stream never really went out. Yeah. And it was not saved. So, so yeah. unfortunately, Oops. we do not have that stream to show you guys or to have up on our YouTube channel. Right. Um, but we did think, hey, let's talk about it a little bit in yeah. this episode. We'll so, uh, again, it was team sealed. It was Parks and I. Uh, we actually split up for, like, the first time ever. I know, yeah. It's usually us. We're which on felt the, weird. The um, I missed you. I I missed you, too. Yeah. Um, it was Parks and I versus Will and Andrew. Yes. Uh, we each got uh, individually six packs, obviously 12 per team, of Iconic Masters, cracked them open, and built two decks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the decks we had, I know Parks had an American kind of tempo control deck with Defender mm -hmm. sub-theme. Um, I had, it was mostly green-black? Yeah. Splashing white, so. maybe? Yeah, you had some white um, I can't even remember. Jump um, life. It was it. life game, yeah, basically, mm -hmm. uh, which kind of worked out for the most part. Yep. It didn't win us the game. We only ended up oh. playing one game. It, it was a very long it's night. The longest um, game. What were your very decks long before game. you get too sure. far into it? So I built a uh, blue-white control shell with some payoff bombs at the end. It's kind of what you build in Limited if, yeah. you, if you got the pieces for it. Uh, Andrew built a dragon's deck 
<laughs> red black Rakdos aggro deck. Um, I'm gonna say with Mill under theme. No Mill no under themes. theme. Yeah. As uh, in, he had mind crank. <laughs> yeah, two mind crank. Um, Blau straights by and some other things in there. Yeah. Because it's a mill format. Yeah. Um. So, the games, game. The game. The uh, game. Singular was exceedingly interesting. I had so long, so much fun. It was really fun. Um, it was very grindy though, because what what ended up happening was, Andrew and I had these bombs, these these high end yeah, things yeah. that would come in and win us. And Parks had a lot of ways to shut those down. He had two sweepers, technically. Mm -hmm. He had Supreme Verdict um, and Oblivion Stone, mm -hmm. uh, which we only ever got to see Oblivion Stone come into play. But True. It did come True. in handy. Um, however, uh, they had no damage, really, to do to us. So they would gain life, yeah. keep, keep them in the game. But when I resolved Baneslayer Angel, everything changed. It wasn't Baneslayer. It was Archangel and Thune. Baneslayer's not in the set. Uh, you're right. It was Archangel of Thune. I've been saying Baneslayer all week. Like, guys, I never <laughs> believe it. It was Archangel of Thune. Archangel. The one that gets bigger when you gain life. And <laughs> that one. Woo. Yeah. So uh, I was able to control Parks just enough to resolve yeah. that to keep him safe. Her safe. Excuse me. To keep her safe. Keep the big flyers from flying in and beating pace. Yeah. And we just, you know, clawed our way back in it. It was... Yeah, it was so, like seven turns where I was, we were bleeding out. Like, All right, I think it was I'm, such a slow process. Like, yeah, it was literally, you know, at the beginning of the game, it was sort of back and forth a little bit. Then very yeah. clearly, we were taking over for oh, a God. number of turns. We were at one. At yeah, one you point. were at one. We were in the commanding position 100%, and just in time, you got the Archangel. And after a few turns, if you don't have anything to deal with it, that's going to win you the game. So um, yeah. it was very, very grindy, which I think... <sighs> sums up this format very well is very very grindy it can be definitely, um, definitely i sort of thinking about it um and we also will mention we've uh will and i before we recorded this episode in fact did a winston draft which if you don't yeah. know is a two-player draft uh and it was just the two of us we decided let's draft some iconic masters just to get a mm -hmm. quick peek at you know a second look into yeah, it Yeah, let's have a smaller game and um see what happens and in that instance i very i was black white splashing blue mm -hmm. and you were like some defender shell yeah. teamer like... so i was uh <laughs> yeah teamer so red blue green uh defender yeah it was awesome i had a lot of fun this was a fun deck to make these were fun decks to yeah. play and make honestly mm -hmm. and i think the reason being yeah for you go ahead first. So something I wanted to mention mm -hmm. is, and I haven't mentioned this to you, but I did find this in our games as well as the other game. It seems like a very alternate win condition based format. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? It's like, can, we're going to gain a crap ton I mean, of life. Yeah. It's not going to win us the game, but we're going to gain a crap ton of life and then maybe claw our way to victory. It doesn't really matter. Or we're going to mill you out. Right. Or we're just going to set up defenders and mm -hmm. ping you with Vent Sentinel or something. Like, just yeah. all these random ways to win. And then occasionally, of course, you have your big giant bomb that wins you the game outright, like sure. Archangel or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, But... It's so like alternate focused. It feels like it's it's very like this is a this is a master set. There's bombs in it. Yeah, there's crazy big things, but they there's don't not like, always win you. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's a very stalling format. Yeah, Again, can be. defenders being a very big part of it. Uh, it makes sense that it's a very oh, stalled man. format. Yeah, but it's it's just really weird. I love it. It's very fun, but it's very. It's not as powerful as you think it would be, right? Yeah, maybe that's uh -huh. it. But it still gives you that fun factor because oh, it's yeah. not like you're just oh, swinging God. in for face every time. It's like, yeah. uh, no, I, I actually kind of want to hold this back. Maybe I want to try something different. Maybe I want to mill you out. You know, it's, it's great. Yeah. It's great. So our games, if you've not Winston drafted before, this is my first time. He mentioned this as I as I got here. You want to try this thing? Yeah. Sure. It is a very fun way to draft something. Um, it's a great time for just two people just yeah. play a new set or whatever. Um, so I'd really encourage encourage you to do that. Go check it out. Should we explain very quickly the rules? how to do it? Because it's yeah. not hard. No, um, so easy. Basically, all you do, each person has to have three packs of whatever mm -hmm. you're going to draft. Uh, so six packs in total. You shuffle up all of the cards. You have a giant stack of cards right there. You make three one-card piles. Take the lands and tokens out. Take the lands and tokens out, of course. Yeah. So you make three one card piles 
what the first person will do is go to pile number one, pick up that card, look at it, decide I want that, in which case they will take it and put it into their pile and put a new card from the giant stack in its place. Yep. Or they can say, no, I don't want it. I'm going to leave it here, put another card from the giant stack on top of that card to make another pile, mm -hmm. and then go on to pile two. Yep. Same thing for pile two to pile three. If you decide you don't want any of the cards in any of the piles... You put a card on each of them, and then you draw a card from the top of the big deck. So yep. it's 100% random at that point. You don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. And you continue to do this back and forth. When you do draft a pile, you draft every card in the pile. Yep. And you do one. get to pick up and look at the entire pile. So the next person, if I didn't want pile one, but did get pile two, the next person gets to look at two cards in right. pile one. So ideally, you'll be able to draft not just one card in a turn, but mm -hmm. sometimes five cards if you're really lucky, or three, two, something like that. And you get to pick what's best for you. Um, and because it's a two-player format, what's really nice about it is generally you're not fighting over a lot of cards. Yeah, that's um, true. I didn't find that I was fighting you for anything. I was, I mean, my focus was black. And so that was really what I was going for. You weren't, at least it didn't seem like you were focused in black. No, at all. I only ended up taking like five or six black cards. Exactly. So. so it's a really, really fun way to draft just for two people. Uh, again, it's very quick, very easy, and it's fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it was it was great. Um, and this set is really fun to draft. The defender yeah, it's theme, awesome. I think, is really really strong. There have been hushes and whispers of how fantastic <laughs> the defender deck <laughs> is, <laughs> and um, people underestimate cards like Doorkeeper. Yeah, um, I definitely did. Um, until it's I a great player. card. It's, it's a really great fun. card. Um, and the defender deck is definitely a real thing. You can yeah. make it happen. It's a little bit tougher in like a regular draft pod. Because the defender cards don't necessarily have to be in a defender focus deck. Like Mnemonic Wall mm -hmm. is good in a defender deck, but it's also just good in a tempo or prowess deck or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, Wall of Roots is great in ramp. It doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. have to be defender. All of those things apply to most of the defender mm -hmm. cards. So it ends up usually being a sub theme, but if you get yes. really lucky, you can get that defender deck and it's awesome. Fog Bank is in the set, so... Yeah, fog bank's pretty good. I did have a fog bank in my uh in the draft deck that yeah. we had, which didn't end up doing anything. I got milled out, but hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I had like forty life too. I just yeah. want to point that out. Yeah. Um, but it was very, yeah. very fun. The games that we had were fairly close. They were. God, um, they were. Life total wise, they were not. But it wasn't. Again, it's alternate win conditions, so it wasn't really focused on that. I was gaining a ton of life every time. I think. Yeah, you got. Uh, I was at forty most of the time. Yeah. You really got um, above 40, I think. I had, game. like, one of a Johnny Pride mate, uh, Path of Bravery, which was a really big swing in my favor on that last game. Yeah, for um, sure. And then some filler stuff like Child of Night and things like that just to gain some life and trigger the Pride mate. But it worked out for the most part. I don't know who... Did you win mm -hmm. two out of three? We yeah. played three games, and you won, I believe. So. I did. It was Amazingly. Very fun, so. I hid behind my vegetables. <laughs> Literally, like, <laughs> I drafted three Wall of Roots. Uh, the was it three really? Yeah, yeah. three Wall of Roots. The one drop, the something offshoot, uh, uh Jotty offshoot or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I had the big X spell elemental stick Ivy element. elemental. Sure, the stick man, and uh, <laughs> let's see some other green stuff, and then doorkeeper and vent sentinel. Yeah, doorkeeper yeah. did some work that last game. If it wasn't Definitely. for that. I would have, I think, probably won. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was, I had yeah. just now, I he played an Ivy Elemental for like 10. It was a 10-10. I had the Pride made out. He had no way to deal with it. And it was ticking nope. up. Nope. I had no and it way. got to 11-11. So I was just in the point where I could start kind of doing a little yeah. bit more damage. But it didn't work out, unfortunately. <sighs> it was so good, though. God, I love it. If Vent Sentinel could target creatures, too. Oh, man. Yeah. Should be Wizards. Uncommon Vent Sentinel, <laughs> Creature or Play. Get on that. So, right. <laughs> really quick, though, the takeaway with this, uh, if you are interested in playing with Iconic Masters, it's a fun set to play. Very much the so. value in it is not as good as ma as past master sets. So, no. we've, we've said that before. We're not going to harp on it again, but I wouldn't buy it for value. If you do just want to play with it, though, it's worth it, I think. It's fun, it's enjoyable, and you could get lucky and pull something really great. I yeah. think we pulled an Aether Vial Aether and a few Vial, other good we things. Got we got um, uh, Foil Thunder Maw, which was pretty good. Um, ended up being more than I thought. So yeah. It's nice. very fun, though. I would highly suggest playing it. Additionally, if you're playing on MTGO, Phantom Draft this. Don't actually pay full for drafting this. It's not worth it. 
but you still get the fun out of it for the for the phantom yeah all right cool so let's uh let's bring the tone down a little bit um (laughs) so i have been saying for a little bit kevin kevin we haven't done the standard episode yeah we got to do one uh so we're doing that now i tried to fight against it guys i'm sorry (laughs) he did he did um and i had left standard for a little bit i didn't have the time really to go to m's or whatever so i was like ah I'll just let it play out. Yeah, yeah. Standard, I left you alone for like two months. Uh, and nothing what changed. the crap happened? <laughs> nothing changed. Uh, uh. The top decks are still the top decks. So we're going to talk about why, uh, things we can do about that, and <laughs> uh, where we go from here. So, Also, really quick, yeah. before we jump into this, we're looking at the past top eight for GP Portland, right. which was a week and a half ago, something like that. We're yeah. not looking okay, at the GP yeah. that was this past weekend at the time of this going up right. because we didn't have the stats at the time. It is also team sealed. Mm-hmm. Or is it team limited? It's one of the two. It's not constructed. <laughs> yeah, so um, it wouldn't really matter a anyway. A little different. You can't build team energy and well <laughs> in team sealed. Promise not. <laughs> hope not. So um, we're going to talk about some stats. Really, the format right now comes down to two decks. Uh, Ramen Up Red yep. and Teamer Energy. And those, are, yeah. those are two decks. Uh, I thought we would be going in a place where the format would get healthier and kind of exuberant. Change up say. a little bit. Uh, that didn't happen. It surely didn't. Um, so we're going to talk <laughs> about why. Some powerhouse cards in there. Um, as soon as I get to the thing that I want to do. You can do it, man. I believe in you. That ain't it. That's fine. So... I want to talk about Teamer Energy first. Uh, Teamer Energy is about 32% of the meta right now. That's insanely high. It's about one-third, as Kevin says. It's one-third. It's one-third. It's one-third of the That's meta. That's insane to me. It is Out of high. curiosity, do you remember what Aetherworks was at the time of its banning? There you go. <laughs> Why'd well, you ask, Kevin? If you can't find it, that's okay, but I'm just wondering because... I might be able to. Um, not that I really think anything... Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it was probably around this though, right? Regardless, I mean, probably it was around twenty percent, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this is post ban. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, forty three percent of the decks. Okay, there we go. The banning. Yep, forty three percent of the decks were um, Aether Works Marble. Mark, yeah, it was called. Um, which is crazy. We're not there yet. We're getting there. <laughs> We're not there yet. However, we can take a look at the top eight. And, uh, in Portland and talk about some problems. <laughs> so the top two decks, um, first and second place. First se- uh, first place is Teamer Energy. Shahar Shinhar, by the way, piloted that. Congratulations to him. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Let it come back. Good for him. Yeah. Shahar's great. He's a great guy. Two-time only, world he's champion. The right? only two-time yeah, world champion, right? I think right? so. Back to back. Uh, awesome. Ramen Up Red by Brandon Go. I actually don't know who Don't know is. who that is, unfortunately. Good for you, though. Yeah. Uh, Ramen Up Red was also uh, third place. Fourth place was Red Green Pummeler. So we do have a third deck now. Yeah, cool. Wow. Four Color <laughs> Energy uh, was fifth place. Sixth was Ramen Up Red again. And then sixth, or seventh and eighth, excuse me, are both Teamer Energy decks. So four Teamer Energy, mm-hmm. three Ramen Up Red, mm-hmm. and one Outlier. Red Green <laughs> yeah. So me coming back into Standard, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, man, these decks are all decks that are the same there's no nothing new from the last time i looked at the top eight there's no uh where's ixalan uh it's not here um, <laughs> teamer energy plays no cards from ixalan really it doesn't need it ramen up red plays one yep uh red green pummeler plays four sorry this one plays none the four no, color played... energy deck plays four. Oh yeah 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 so w- what's up with ixalan this was this was my first question looking at this stuff, sure. and we'll talk about it. Um, really, it comes down to the <sighs> cards that were strong from the last standard season rotating into this one are even stronger because the answers from last season have rotated out. Rasp of Darkness is gone. The one deck that competed well against Ramen Up Red at least gave it a run for its money. Marty Vehicles is gone. You don't have uh, <coughs> Gideon. The one drop white one one that makes a clue thraben inspectors yes gone. stuff like that those are gone now so marty vehicles has really taken a hit and is not as strong as it used to be uh you can't 
answer the big cards as well. Really two. Two big cards are what it comes down to. <laughs> Glory bringer and Hezret the Fervent. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, so strong. These cards are insanely good, and they are in every single one of these lists in the top eight. Glory bringers in all of them. Yep. Um, which is startling. It's it's it, it's not encouraging. No, it's, it's really not. not. Or really for glory bringer either. Um, that being said, we'll talk about the best deck right now, Teamer Energy, and why it kind of is so good, and why nothing has changed. So Teamer Energy <laughs> really benefits from synergy more than any other deck in standard right now. What I mean by that is every card in energy interacts with itself except for Glorybringer. Or interacts with each other, excuse me, except for Glorybringer. You've got Bristling Hydras, Rogue Refiners, Servants of the Conduit, all the stuff that either makes energy or spends energy to do things that you want. Uh, it's Yeah, Rogue Refiner is really just there to block, give you energy, give you card advantage. It's a great three drop. It's fantastic. Uh, it's an engine to turn on Bristling Hydra which gets bigger and it gets hex proof. Then you get a long tusk cub at two, <laughs> which can turn to three, three. And then if it gets strong enough, it gets more stuff. It's nasty. Uh, you get harness lightning for great removal. You can splash for black two to add, um, uh, what was the guy playing? Braska's something or other. Yeah. Contempt. Yes, Braska's Contempt, the, the removal spell. Um, and it's really easy to, dra- to splash for stuff in this deck. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it's really become <laughs> insanely good, really because you can't answer stuff yeah. without a glory bringer. And you can't answer glory bringer with a glory bringer, but you can't answer glory bringer and you can't answer the deck without it. It's a mess. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> um, so some answers for glory bringer. I jotted some notes down. We can talk about those. Uh, it is, and this is kind of my opinion, what I think is the best, and really they're not great. Yeah, uh, Angel of Sanctions is one flyer that uh, can deal with Glorybringer like combat to combat one, but it also enters the battlefield and exiles things. It's your O ring on an angel. Yeah, cool. yeah. Um, it's a great card. It is a great card. Uh, comes in on turn five though. Yeah, it's a little late. It's in Ramen Up Red. It's exceptionally too late. In Teamer Energy, you might still be alive, but I I honestly doubt it, and I doubt that an angel can. Yeah, it. yeah. Especially in Teamer Energy when you have your Harness Lightning. To, you don't need much to kill Angel of Sanctions. You're going to have the energy, so it's it really doesn't matter. You're, you're just going to die. Yeah. It, that's Angel all it amounts Sanctions, to. It's not, it's not a great great option. So then we look at spell removal, just uh, perfect kill spells. Uh, walk the Plank is probably the best, in my opinion, the best in the format right now. Two black, kill any non-Merfolk creature. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't deal with Hezret, but deals with Glorybringer uh, for two black, which is great. Two black kind of hurts its constructed viability a little. It does a little, a yeah. A little. However, I think it's important enough to answer this card that you need Walk the Plank in there. Yeah. That's my opinion. Agreed. Um, when you've got a dragon kind of taking over, <laughs> I don't want to say it's taking over standard necessarily, but... It's in every top eight deck. I watched... <laughs> uh, the latest GP, they don't have stats for it yet anywhere online, but I watched the uh, top eight that just happened mm-hmm. um, in the last Grand Prix. Warsaw? Warsaw? I don't know. I don't know. Um, the top eight was a mere match. Uh, team or energy. Surprise. And the first player to resolve Glorybringer won, <laughs> which is won the first match anyway. I just watched the first uh, first game. Which kind of isn't that surprising. No, it's really not. I mean, Glorybringer is such a powerful card, and clearly everybody else recognizes this because it is being played in every deck. And so, as you mentioned, whoever resolves it first is in, generally speaking, a more commanding position. Yes. And so, so it's the race to Glorybringer. Hmm. That's a good name for a band. Uh, <laughs> so, Oh, the last one. Sorry. <laughs> Braska's Contempt is the other one. Uh, yeah. it, this one is instant speed. Walk the Plank is sorcery speed. Is it also exile? Vraska's is. Okay. Walk the Plank is not. It's yeah, yeah. Destroy. But Vraska's Contempt is exile. It um, target creature or planeswalker, and you gain two life for four black. Mm-hmm. Two life isn't, isn't important. Forget that. But exile <laughs> it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, at four, that hurts. A little pricey. That hurts yeah. a lot. 
I would have much rather had it at three and not gain the two life or something like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Honestly. Like, that would be so much more playable, but at I four, agree. it just feels bad. Definitely. Um, yeah, so... It's not a whole lot... Standard. To do about it. What happened? Yeah. So, we talked about some, <laughs> of, some of the problems. Um, Ramen, Up Rep, Ramen Up Red is so good. Sorry, I didn't touch on that at all. Just because it's matchups have gotten easier. Mm-hmm. Um, not only are there no answers for Glorybringer, but Hezaret the Fervent is, uh, she has become insanely hard to kill. Yeah. Um, with her indestructibility, so you really can only resolve Rascal's Contempt against her as like a kill spell. You can't really kill her via combat damage, no mm-hmm. kill spell because she's indestructible. So you have to exile her. But at turn four against Red, if you're not winning, you're not so hot. Yeah, you're um, done. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so that's why that's so good. Where can we go from here, though? Uh, well, <laughs> we can hope <laughs> that the next set gets us some stuff. This is to say, without banning anything, without banning <laughs> anything, maybe the next set will will shake things up a little bit. Nothing rotates, however. We do get some more juice. Yeah. Um. There is a brew going around right now. A um, Miriarch. It uses uh, majestic Miriarch mm. to give the Miriarch basically flying, double strike, and some other fun things very quickly. Yeah. And that competes pretty well, but it suffers from Brewer's disease, which is it's not consistent. Yeah. Uh, which is why it's not a competitive deck, really. Um. There are brews. I think. I think that can become viable options like that one with a little bit of tuning. Yeah. Um, but as it stands right now, it's so hard to figure out what you can do about these quick, quick decks. Because Teamer Energy is feels like a mid-range deck that gets to the mid-game at turn three, which is a really strong place to be in. Because yeah. you get Bristling Hydras, you get these big kitty cats and, <laughs> and whatnot that can turn into a control shell if they need to. They're scared. Uh, red decks are good for red decks. I mean, they just throw so many creatures at you, too much burn at you. You know, you it's have, you, you have, have to be to, quick. Yes, you either have to outrace it, which is tough, or you have to control it enough that it never gets that stuff off. So I did see um, a Esper approach deck that I found very interesting. That deck won something. It did. Um, I don't remember what it was, but that was the deck that I saw, and mm-hmm. it was actually pretty good against a lot of these decks. And the reason being, uh, it got to play Walk the Plank. It got to play Vraska's Contempt. Yeah. It got to play Settle the Wreckage. It got to play Cast Out. Had every good removal spell. And then it had the counter package with Sensor and things like that to deal with any nice. you know threats that way. So yeah. it actually worked pretty well. But again, it's an approach deck. <laughs> and you don't know that... Approach isn't the most consistent win in the world. Nah. So, no, it's really not. So it suffers from that same problem, as you yeah. mentioned, Brewer's Disease, that... It's it's just not consistent enough. However, it does consistently handle other decks. It just doesn't consistently find its win. Yeah. And that's the problem. Can be tricky. So my Without take on it Yeah, exactly. My take on it is if we tune up that Esper deck somehow. Oh yeah? You wanna if we find another win condition. Hmm. Maybe it's an maybe it's an Angel of Sanctions. Maybe it's some other kind of thing that's gonna actually win the hmm. game other than approach. Just and maybe you leave approach in there, but Maybe we have a secondary win condition. Something yeah. along those lines. I'm not saying that's going to do it or anything like that, but it it seems to me like the best contendent for that. Okay. Does that make sense? It does, and I would probably agree. Yeah. I mean, Teamer Energy isn't honestly that hard to quote-unquote control for a control deck. Mm-hmm. They don't run any really counter magic except for Commit to Memory. Um, they have plenty of creature removal. However, if you're not winning on board like that Esper deck, you don't... Those it doesn't are, matter. Those are dead cards. Um, so they don't have a lot of interacti- interactivity. Mm-hmm. I was going to say interactability. <laughs> That's not a word. <laughs> they don't have that much interactivity with your spells other than commit. Yeah. Um, but they do sideboard sort of say, things. On sideboard, they kind of. They've got negates. They've yeah, got stuff they, like that. They so control themselves or help themselves a little bit mm-hmm. like that. Um, so yeah, there's an answer out there. As it stands right now, they are weaker. This is kind of a call to brewers. Brewers, <laughs> uh, rogue deck builder, help us. Yes, um, please. Yeah, standard's kind of gross. Um, yeah. 
Uh, there's not much else to say other than we really need some new I'm stuff excited. in I standard. Was, I was excited. My schedule's opening up. All right. I'm going to get to play. Get back into Go standard. To All right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ne- never mind. Uh, it's really gross. Um, so, barring a ban, this isn't going to change much until we figure figure out one of those decks, and that's fine. I really don't want to see a ban. Do you think there will be one? No, yet. Not okay. at, not at this point. Um I feel like if they were going to ban it, they so. would have already. Yeah. Um and honestly, it's a strong card. But mm-hmm. with with a proper it's not indestructible. No. Talk about glory bringer. It's not indestructible. It's not uncounterable. It's not unkillable. 4/4 four, four honestly isn't that I mean, It's big. powerful, but it's not huge by right. any means. Right. Like, it's not the. It doesn't have. What am I trying to say? The answers are there. Yeah. It's just the decks that they're in are so good. The shells are so good, it just makes it. Not insane. because of. Not really even because of Glorybringer. Glorybringer just elevates it so much. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, hopefully, you guys out there watching this episode come up with a deck, send us your deck list. Because we want to know exactly what's going to beat these Teamer Energy and Ramanop Red decks. I, I've i said it before, I don't particularly enjoy Standard. And this isn't every Standard. This doesn't reflect every Standard. But this is part of why I don't enjoy Standard. Because it's I find... Been the, it's been the Standard for like the last two years. It has. Kind of. We've had a lot of problems in Standard. And I actually thought for a while we were good. And I think for a few months we were. After they uh, banned Aetherworks, I guess. Yeah, We right saw after. a... a Right variety of decks things well, like almost, that almost half the decks were unplayable so. yeah exactly but now yeah. we're back to that same actually problem. you know what's really funny that's not true because teamer energy used to just have aetherworks and ulamog in it and it was aetherworks yeah problems. yeah nothing else changed nothing changed really <laughs> so so yeah. i don't know i just i'd this love to see something different so they turned into yeah the it is yeah um so Anything else on that? Um, I I just think we need new cards and or new decks coming up. That's all. I I still believe standard is a good format. Mm-hmm. Um, this uh, this can very easily turn into a net decking argument, and I don't want it to be. Um, because I do I argue that you should play good decks. You should build strong decks as strong as you can always, whenever. Mm-hmm. Um, but. There needs to be answers to decks. It should work really like rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. It's like the perfect game, rock, paper, scissors, right? I mean, nothing is the penultimate. Mm-hmm. Nothing is the best. Nothing is the worst. People statistically play rock more. <laughs> Do you know that? Fun fact. Yeah. Fun fact. Wow. Yeah. People are more likely to play rock. So, All right. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> Slide that paper on top of there. Exactly. So, but that comes down to metagame. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. But it's the perfect game. There, it's just that there's no r- real answer to these. They lose games. They lose games all the time. They're not perfect. No. Nah. They're just really strong. But, um, And, again, you should build strong decks, but there should be answers. There were answers to Aetherworks, but... The goal for me should always be to find the strongest deck against your metagame. The metagame right now is Teamer Energy and Ramen Up Red. Yeah. Let's find the deck to beat that. That's where I'm at, because I think... Yeah. You know, building a good deck like Teamer Energy or like Ramen Up Red is fine. That was good at one time and is yeah. good right now. I think the next step and why Standard should be a very healthy format all the time is people should be saying, okay, how do I beat these decks? How do I beat these? So let's let's ask that question. Let's take that step. Let's find that deck. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah. And that deck can't... That keeps the format growing. True. It can't be too weak that it dies to other weird janky decks yeah because yeah. there are strange weird janky decks in standard decks. they're always uh, janky decks are just always going to be a thing and that's fine that's perfect yeah hey this kind of feels like the format for turbo fog right now does it not a little bit parks jump on it parks likes turbo fog guys Park, no no <laughs> parks loves turbo fog <laughs> turbo fog was created for parks <laughs> yeah who found, all right who found well each other first me or the fog who came first fog or parks it's hard to tell now <laughs> we are one 
All right, guys. Cool. So with, with that out of the way. Yeah, let's jump off a of stand. Again, we warned you at the top. This is going to be a ranty episode. Uh-huh. Um, okay, moving off of standard and iconic masters, the main stuff for this episode, we are going to move into our question of the week. Uh, this past week, we asked, what was your favorite reprint in Iconic Masters? We didn't have any winners or anything like that for this one. We'll just talk about some. We'll just talk about a few of them. Uh, interestingly, in the uncommon slot, somebody mentioned Thran Dynamo, which I think is good because it is a good value card. Uh, Lightning yeah. Helix also in the uncommon slot, which technically got the most votes. Fun fact. Um, it. it is great. Uh, obviously, in the rare slot, somebody, a lot of people were saying things like Thought Seas, Horizon Canopy uh do 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 uh fluster storm is fantastic uh the praetor cycle a couple people mentioned the whole cycle a couple people just mentioned shieldred and varinclex and things like that so all good elishnorn i got you um archangel of thune yeah somebody mentioned uh the kamigawa dragons somebody actually mentioned which i think is interesting uh solely because it's not the most exciting reprint in the world to be honest but the art on them pretty good they're beautiful they They are are beautiful looking so i'm happy to see that uh let's see anything else all that oh the last one uh spirit monger one to end on spirit monger not bad just because what is your favorite reprint from iconic masters uh because it's my favorite card i feel like i have to say elish norn um that being said nobody said mana drain which i think is interesting uh yeah that's true um yeah, I mean, Mana Drain is the one I would be most excited to get, but I really like Elishorn more. Um, speaking that. of which, I just ordered the Elishorn playmat. I think by the time this episode yeah. goes up, it'll be here, but I'm really excited about it. Um, it's going to be good. That's so cute. Uh, <laughs> I like Thoughtsies. I think Thoughtsies should be... Wow, I can't speak. I think Thoughtsies. Thoughtsies. I think Thoughtsies. <laughs> should be cheaper and more people should play with it so i like that it got reprinted yeah um, and it is actually cheap right now relatively speaking wow. it's 15 bucks right now um, yeah but for thought see yeah it's pretty, pretty good price. uh yeah. so this week's question of the week which is already posted on our instagram uh but just for you people watching the podcast or listening yeah. um what are you most excited for with unstable and it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific card maybe it's that you have a draft group and you're really excited to draft it maybe yeah honestly uh, maybe you're excited about a specific card. Maybe the new Urza has got your uh, your your britches in a twist. Has anyone tried to go to that website yet? I have. Is it up? No. December 8th, when the set releases, it'll go live. Hey. I mean, you can click on it and everything, but it's just like, he's powering up. He'll... <laughs> Wait. It literally says he's powering up. That's sweet. Yeah. It's just Urza's head, right? That's just... Oh, it's the actual card. You yeah. click on... I mean, it's yeah, it's Urza's head is the art. Right, and that's the card itself. Yeah, yeah. It's sweet. It's so interesting. It's pretty cool. Uh, there are a lot of things to be excited about with Unstable. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. Yeah, I'm excited for the experience. We're talking about getting a big group together to draft it. We are. So I don't know if that's going to be streamed or filmed in any way. Probably. It would be nice to. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we stream the top, top tier or something. Yeah, because we won't be in it. Um, we can Heck commentate no. on it. Uh, we could. It would be fun. We're talking about doing that at Grand Slam, uh, so we do have to work out details with him, and we'll let you know if that does yeah. happen. Yeah, by the way, Grand Slam. Uh, yeah, <laughs> by the way. Um, speaking yeah. of, uh, we do now move into our craft oh, packs. Oh, oh. Sponsored by Final Grand segment. Slam. Yeah, so uh, thank you to Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles for everything that they do, including providing Iconic Masters, uh, any of the boxes that they've given us out of the many that they've given us. They do a lot. They're a great store. Yeah. They're fun people over there. Um, there's If you're close, if you feel like it, there's no reason not to I'll stop there. Yeah, you really should. Um, hey. We do, of course, have our goal cards. Ooh, Mine is Grand It Lamock, and yours is Carnage Tyrant. Hey, yeah. For the there best, you go. Best dino. I didn't get it. I got Herald of Secret Streams. I got it. I'm sure I got it. You think so? It's been long enough. Okay. It has been long enough. You didn't get it. That's a foil. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> nope. No, but I do like that card. Uh, Takatli Honor Guard. Oh, I'm actually kind of glad I pulled this. I was looking at this card the other day, thinking about hate bears for some reason. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. I mean, hate bears. Creatures like entering the bears. battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Um, as per control versus team or energy, you don't gain energy. I like that. All right, eight pairs would be good. Um, so for me, 
I don't know what I'd pick. I also got a Tempest Collar, a Lightning Rig Crew, a Belligerent Brontodon, a Stormfleet Pyromancer, Kinjali's Collar, Tishana's Wayfinder, which I think is probably just like the safe pick. Uh, Herald of the Secret Streams is good if you end up with Explorer, so I may take that first and then try and get Explorer triggers off of that. So yeah, I think I would pick Herald. That would be mine. Oh, you got an Opt. Yes. Yes, I did Look at that. Not picking opt first, but opt is nice. Yeah. Um, so it's between pounce or raging sword tooth. Oh, dude, hundred percent. I think the sword tooth is my pick. Yes, it's it is. Such a good bomb. It's so good. Five five for five comes in and deals one damage to each other creature. Oh, that has trample. It's a really it's good solid, card. So I would try Unlimited, to it's fantastic. try to go for uh, Naya Dinos or something. Hopefully wheel the collar, although I doubt it. I doubt it as well, but yeah. Maybe a pounce, like though. You could wheel pounce. Pounce is nice. Um, I don't think it would wheel to me. This is straight yeah, maybe. Straight removal. Um, but yeah, I think I'd try nice. to move into either Gruul or Naya Dinos. Dinos. I like it. Yeah, you, uh, don't, you don't pick Honor Guard. No, you good. don't. I. It's a good card, but it's not good and limited. Um, with that, though, guys, again, thank you to Grand Slam. We do also want to mention uh, we have a giveaway going on. You we saw do. it at the top of the episode. If you haven't, or if you've glossed over it, we do have two packs of Eclipse sleeves, Ooh. one uh, Goblin versus Merfolk uh, dual deck, as well as three uh, Ixalan booster packs, all up for grabs. All you like have to do. Fish and or tiny green men. Green? If so, they're more red. This this goblin's red, but like oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. goblins are green. Man. I know they are. I'm just, just I mean they're red the... cards, but goblins are green. I just, I'm confused. They can be red, but goblins are green. I'm com- I'm confused. Why? I don't know. Um, Guys, if you want to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to us on YouTube and comment in any of our video comment sections. Say 1,000 giveaway, hashtag 1,000 giveaway. If you want an additional entry, all you have to do is repost the original post on Instagram uh, and make sure you tag us in it. That way we know that you gave that second entry. But... I think oh, that's yes. going to be it for this episode. I believe so. Nothing else I want to say other than a cry to all of you creative magic players out there. I know there's plenty of you. All of you <laughs> listeners are. If you play standard. Fix standard, it. <laughs> let's let's fix it together. Please do. Call, call Bob the Builder. Call Barney. Fix it, Felix. Let's get Fix it, Felix in there. Fix it. Hello, ma'am. This is going to make a really inappropriate joke. <laughs> all right. Uh, guys, thank you so much for taking part in today's episode and our giveaway. We really do appreciate it. Thank you for all of your support. Uh, make sure to like, comment, or subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos. And yeah. check out our other content. We have Cracker Packs. We've got gameplay. we got it all. We do. Uh, but with that, we're going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Resolves.